Oh, that was loud. <laughs> Welcome to another reading vlog. Today is March 25th at like 12 p.m. ish. Today I have to go to the doctors at 1.15 and then I have work at 3 until 10. If you guys watched my last vlog then you know that I started deep cleaning my room and then halfway through got real fed up with it and stopped. So I finally put all my Funko Pops back on my shelves. So I got my Harry Potter. It goes up there with the four books that I've read because we're on number five and we still haven't read that, so we'll get there eventually. And then I made like a shelf for vinyl because favorite series, so that's over there. My Funko wall is back. I'm used to having my piggy bank, like that one and that one. He's hiding back there. And then that Batman one up there over on that bookshelf. So like it's kind of weird not having it there, but then I also did those three boxes so it's got my superheroes and then Jughead and Cheryl and Olaf up there. That's how I'm reorganizing it because that wall over there, the Funko Pop wall, was just giant and like way too many Funko Pops honestly stacked up there so we tried to tone it down so that is a little more not all the way up to my ceiling you know. Have yet to clean up the entire floor you can see there's still like boxes and stuff there so I have to do that have to put clothes away and then I can vacuum my room because honestly I have not done that in a very long time and it's kind of gross mm. but I guess I should update you on my reading since reading vlog last week when I was reading Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand I am like 350 pages into it now I think that it's probably gonna be like a 4 4.5 read for me I'm really really liking it it's really spooky I'm listening to this one on audiobook so that might be why I find that I usually rate audiobooks a lot higher than I do books that I like physically read by myself I think just because my attention span sucks so having someone else like read to me and like have all the voices and whatnot of the characters in my head just is more enjoyable to me so yeah I'm hopefully going to finish this one this week I'm assuming that's gonna happen because I'm literally only working today and Sunday so I have a lot of free time on my hands and then I'm also still reading Unleaving which is downstairs and I'm not gonna go get it but I'll show you guys it later in the vlog. I'm still like 80 pages in. I'm supposed to finish it by March 26th because it's a review book so we gotta get on that. Maybe we'll read a little bit tonight at work depending on what I have to do because I believe I only have to set up like two rooms and then it's just like open gym program stuff so yeah I'm gonna go listen to a little bit of that audiobook and then I'll see you guys in the car for some more car content with my mother because I know you guys love that. I notice every time we get in the car, I just start laughing at you. You wanna know why? Cause I'm <laughs> fucking hilarious. You're Are welcome. You, you got a potty mouth on you? You say that every time like you're surprised. And I'm not really sure why at this point. Where are we going, Jay? To the doctor so he can touch my vagina. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so excited. He has a 4.5 out of 5 rating on Google, so... I would like to know what the rating scheme is. I don't know, but apparently 4.5 out of 5, interesting. so... Great guy, I that I guy is. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. That's where and, we're going. Uh, my life sucks, and um, yep. And then what are you doing today? Going to work. Also, my life sucks. Yeah, but money. Yeah, but... But you like money. But work. Except I get to work with my favorite coworkers, so it's okay. You get to work with two of them. I get to see Jessica for like half an hour, mm -hmm. or an hour, be an hour, and then BZ for 7.30 to 10 when he gets there. If he's there. If he comes, because he doesn't so think he's what about, working. What are you... How do you feel? Are you excited? <laughs> Need the first bite. The fries are crispy too. Okay. Go. It's too hot. Shove it in your mouth. Do it. Do it for the vlog. Do it for the vlog. I'm gonna burn my mouth and then the rest of my food isn't gonna taste good because I listen to you. And I'm gonna be bitter. Is that delicious? Round two. Round two. Oh my god. 
like not even 10 seconds after we finished eating the pizza. <laughs> I'm so full. You got liver and onions. Monthly TBR picks by mom. Tell them uh, what you just said. Nope. <laughs> she goes... You're going to say it though. <laughs> she goes, I'm trying to make you read things that you haven't read before. No, yeah. I said that you have that you had like I was trying to go with like set, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> What's the definition of a TBR, no, mom? A, your TBR? No, just any TBR. Because the TBR that we said was the TBR, the NBR. And what is that? To be read, never be read. You that's, said, I'm trying that's... to get you to read books you haven't read before. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Yep. <laughs> so it's now Tuesday at like 1 15 ish i just got back from lunch with ricardo it was super good and i just like seeing bb so <laughs> now i need to film my tbr that you guys saw the clip before of my mom picking it it's quite a stretch for the topic that she chose but if you guys don't know my mom always picks my tbr it's like the way that she's part of my channel she always has a theme that goes along with the books that she picked this month's theme is quite a stretch for what she's saying it is but we're gonna go with it so you guys will have to wait and see what the theme is when you watch the video which I need to go film but here we are doing a reading update instead so reading update I am on page 380 of Saw Kill Girls out of like 447 or something like that so I'm almost done this book I'm probably not going to finish it today because I need to finish unleaving because I was supposed to have it done by today for review do I have it done no, no, I don't. I'm on page like 109 out of like 283 or something like that. So if I actually crack down and focus and read this book, then I can maybe get it done by today. But I am supposed to, like I said, film my TBR and then I'd have to edit that TBR, except I could do that like another time. So maybe I'll just film it and then edit it like when I'm done this dang book. But I'm also supposed to be going to the mall with my mom once she comes back from the doctor's. So, and then I'm also supposed to be going to see Ricardo again after he's done work, but that's not till like 11. So we got a lot of time. We're going to buckle down. We're going to read this, see how it goes. Hopefully we can get it done, but I'm enjoying it from what I have read. The only thing that's like really annoying about this book is that it's about this girl who like lives with her aunt now and she always calls her the aunt and I'm like, why? Like nobody calls their relatives the aunt like I don't know it's weird to me but that's really the only complaint I have about it so far so we're giving them the quality car content that they quality car content that they want the QCC what are we up to we are going to the mall to do what to rip out our eyebrows my eyebrows am I are you not I getting your stuff do? am I do I, need I don't know I don't know I did a thing <laughs> one <laughs> And number two is Slinky Dog. But you got that one on sale. No, no I you got, got the Hercules on sale. Hercules on sale. He was only six ninety nine compared to twelve ninety nine. That's with the the discount too, right? Yeah, I get ten percent off because I'm a Edge member. What yeah. color are you? You're not ruby, are you? I'm platinum. Oh, you're platinum. Platinum. How do you say? Platinum. Platinum? Platinum. Okay. You know what? Other people would say platinum. Yeah, but I don't say my tea, so platinum. <laughs> so it's like 5.30 on a Wednesday now, and we just got our mail, and I got super exciting book mail. One of my subscribers, Jonathan, sent me On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, but it is sign and personalized to me. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh! I was like so upset when I didn't get to go see Angie during her Toronto tour. I have a personalized copy, so thank you so much to Jonathan. I'm so excited about this and I'm definitely going to be picking this up soon because everybody has read it already and I'm like the only one. So now, I can read it. I guess I should do my reading update as well 
since we're here now. So pretty much all day I've just been reading Unleaving because like I said, I was supposed to have this done yesterday. Did not get it done. But I'm now on page 250 out of 288, so I only have like 30 something more pages. But we're gonna get this done today, hopefully that's the plan. And then I also have like 10 more pages of Saw Kill Girls to listen to, which I'm probably gonna do tonight if I finish Unleaving because we gotta finish Unleaving and then I can do this because I kind of didn't do Unleaving and just listened to this because it's really good right now and I just want it to be over so I know what happens but like it was real intense and I'm like ah oh, I need to know what happens there's only 10 pages left so Unleaving must be done and then I can read Salt Kill Girls. That's the plan. I'm also supposed to be going to see Ricardo once he's done work today, but that's not till like 10.30. We're probably just gonna be watching RuPaul's Drag Race, let's be honest, because we've been binging the shit out of that show. He's a fan now, not mad about it. I want everyone to know okay. that Ricardo puts on Drag Race by himself now. No, you didn't know <laughs> you wanted to watch. No, you're converted, you like it. Everybody look at my little bitch. Little bitch. What you doing for me, bitch? I'm making you grilled cheese, you princess. Like a dummy, though. Not very smart. <laughs> like. This is a whole process. It's not really a process. It's just like a pain in the ass to spread cold butter on your bread. So you melt it first, so you can brush it on your bread, and then it's easier. You brush it on your bread? Brush it on your bread, that's right. Okay, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Once again, you're welcome. You're the one who wanted grilled cheese. You're right, and then I asked if you wanted one, and I got a... I got, should reenact it because you were all wrapped up in blankets. You're just... Chunky cheese chunky for cheese. my chunky butt. Yes, <laughs> chunky. Sorry, what? Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you just don't react. It just tickles a little bit. Look at that ooze, though. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh, sir, such a good cook. Are you uh, content? Yes, so content. Thank you, thank you. I've been spending pretty much my entire day cleaning up my room because, you know, we said we were going to deep clean. We're deep cleaning, let me tell you. So these coat hangers are all the clothes that I got rid of. There's like two laundry baskets downstairs that I'm getting rid of. And these are all like my photo albums from when I was a baby. You can see like my basketball stuff when I used to be fit, <laughs> not anymore. And then this, oh, ooh hoo hoo, is my uh, kindergarten artwork. It's real nice, let me tell you. We also have these Barbie dolls that my Nana gave me when I was like really young, which we're gonna see if they're like worth anything because we're curious and we wanna know if like we can be billionaires. The amount of notebooks that I have, like these are just like little tiny ones that I've had forever and never used, but like why? Also, we have a thousand bajillion packages of lined paper. I don't even use lined paper because I use notebooks. So why I have all of these? We don't know. We're getting rid of all of that shit that was in my room, in my closet. For what reason? I don't know. It was just there. And then we have one garbage bag there. Another garbage bag going on over there. This is like clothes that I'm packaging up. More clothes that I'm like packaging up because they're like memory stuff. You know, you don't want to get rid of that stuff. The two laundry baskets that I'm donating. Let's see if we can do this without dying. Ooh, there they are. You see them? Right there, those are the two that I'm donating all the clothes from, so. But that shelf up there used to be full of stuff, so now we just got my shoes over there, some Bath and Body Works stuff because I'm addicted. That stuff we're still going through. Those are notebooks, more notebooks. The amount of notebooks I have, I don't understand. How are you feeling about this cleanup? I'm pretty done right now. <laughs> I thought I was just coming to, you know, help you try on clothes. Well, we did that, now we're going through no, notebooks. We, we haven't done that at all today. Because we did it yesterday. So two garbage bags full, bins to go in the basement. And just so much just shit. So much shit. Just going, oh, look at that. Where do I put that? And, and Too much I, shit. And I just don't know. Y'all want to see my artwork? <laughs> this is real good. What grade is this? Please tell me this is at least kindergarten. This is 2001. So, so you were... Four? Ooh. Were you four? I'm 100. That's, no, you could count to 100. Mm -hmm. When you finally counted to 100. Name tag. That was on your cubby hole. Look at this. I don't know why I'm not an artist today. So 2001 is how many years ago? 18 years ago? So you would have been five, so you would have been senior kindergarten grade one. 
What is that supposed that's to be? That's a bus. That's a I bus. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's some damn scribbles. No, that's something. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> what is that? Is this what I'm doing? Foy pukes. I don't know. It's backward C's. <laughs> Backward C's B L O C C F F F. What's two thousand? That was when Elias was just born. So how old was I? You were born in ninety four, so five. you were five. Wow! Years old. Thanks for knowing my own birth date. Was that a sponge? What was that? No, that's that's an ifta umda. <laughs> All right. So this is how I've grown throughout the month. Oh, September is the first day of school. Oh, first <laughs> look day at of that! <laughs> I'm just. I lost my neck. Grew a beard. <laughs> okay, November. Turned blonde. February. <gasps> I got a belly. I'm fat now. So accurate. I don't know what that is. Earrings? Maybe. Did no. I get earrings? I don't know. Oh, it's big to small. January, you have an afro. <laughs> <laughs> I was really talented. So it's now Friday, and I am currently waiting for Ricardo to come pick me up because it was our two year anniversary on the 24th but we're going out to dinner to like celebrate it tonight at my cousin's restaurant so it's called table 32 never been there but apparently it's like really good i figured before i left i would update you guys on what i read today and yesterday because it's actually 4 30 ish right now so i got a little bit done i've mostly been cleaning my room which i will show you guys how much i'm getting rid of because it's actually like mind-blowing how much i had in my room before that reading update so i actually finished both the books that i I was reading at the beginning of the week so I finished Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand and I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really really enjoyed it. I just found the whole story like super compelling and really creepy and you know your girl loves herself some creepy shit so I was here for this book. Definitely recommend you guys listen to it on audiobook. It was really good. And then I also finished Unleaving by Melissa Ostrom. I'm going to have a full review of this up on my channel some point. When that's gonna happen? I don't know because my filming space is a little bit uh still messy because we're still cleaning. You know, it's fine. We're we're getting there slowly but I ended up giving this a four out of five stars so the review will be up sometime and I'll also be covering it in my wrap up anyways so and then I started um listening to another audiobook so I started Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty this is the that tv show that Reese Witherspoon like directs or is in or both not 100% sure but I'm really enjoying this on audiobook it's really funny and I didn't expect it to be funny it's like about these four mothers who are like kindergarten moms and there's like just so much drama and one of them ends up dead and they're like trying to navigate all that shit but it is just really good I'm really enjoying it I think it's probably gonna be a favorite of mine for I guess next month because it's the 29th right now I'm not gonna finish it by the end I haven't picked my next physical read book but we'll get to it some point maybe this week but not tonight because we're going out with Ricardo but I'm gonna show you guys how much shit I'm getting rid of because it's crazy so this is all the garbage we already took like a shit ton down also I have textbooks from like high school like why do I have them I don't know but here we are and then I'm giving that whiteboard to my cousin those are all my sports socks. I don't play sports anymore, so my dad's probably gonna take them if they fit him. If not, donate it. I have a shit ton of pillows that were just under my bed. Why? I don't know. I guess I used to be decorative. Also, this monkey thing was in my closet. <laughs> okay. Also, another monkey thing. Apparently, I used to be obsessed with monkeys. And then I also have a scrapbook from when I did, like, you know, that was electronic babies. Like, look, that was my baby. Her name was JC for J and Immaculate Conception because I don't need no man to make a baby, you know? But there we go. And then this is the pile of stuff that I'm donating. So there's like shoes, there's a ball yoga thingy. Apparently I was into yoga. There's a lot of like craft shit I just never started. A lot of like coloring books, shit like that, DVDs, computer games, clothes. So many damn clothes in this here laundry basket. Also slippers that I never wore. Also paint by numbers that I never did. I think that's just garbage. Might be more clothes, not 100% sure. That thing, is going to my cousin because she's starting university this September so we're getting her stuff for her dorm room I never used it for mine and then these are all the clothes that I'm giving to my cousin as well if she wants them if not they're just gonna be donated but like holy shit guys so much shit and then that stuff is also going downstairs it's like my anatomy textbooks from when I was in university literally a bag full of bags but like they're nice bags so like we keep them and then sports shit like all literally all my jerseys and stuff 
from when I played basketball and like practice gear, stuff like that. It's just honestly kind of crazy how much stuff that you like squirrel away in your room and don't realize that you put it all away. So I'm like pulling all that shit out of my closet. There's stuff that I haven't worn since high school and I'm like, there's no way this is gonna fit me. It's like as big as my arm now. So there's just a lot of stuff leaving. I'm still not even done cleaning everything up. So I don't know, by the end of it, I feel like I'm literally giving away half of my closet. I should probably do this to my books because so many books that I will probably never read. Everyone take in how good Rafardo looks to- Nom nom. Nom nom. So <laughs> Look at it. What did you get? Oh, are you taking pictures too? First time ever. That one looks good though. Everyone look at the bullshit that I woke up to. It is March 31st. What is Mother Nature thinking? So mad. Are you there? Yes. Mommy. Say hello. Oh, <laughs> I didn't vlog oh yesterday. My God. You're my vlog today. Oh. What are you doing today? Uh, I'm gonna get gas. Oh, that's not exciting. Well, it's going up 10 cents a liter tomorrow. There's taxes, so I'm gonna go and get gas. We hate the government. <laughs> no, we don't. We hate that tax. <laughs> we hate so. the gas tax. Mm -hmm. And, and I... Uh, I will be knitting more socks and probably finishing up laundry. And... Oh, yeah, she's making socks. She's very happy and excited about it. Yeah. Daddy, what are you doing today? It's a nice uh, stance you got there. Nice what? Stance. <laughs> Yes, posture. Fine, posture. Nice posture you got there. No, I haven't graduated yet. I'm going to work. Say goodbye, close out my vlog. Goodbye, close out your vlog. Wow, thanks.